the kidnappers. Kipper was sad because the magic key did not glow. He looked at the key for a long time. At last, he fell asleep. Suddenly, the, ma the key glowed and the magic began to work. Kipper's toys were alive. Kipper's teddy shook him. Wake up, he said. The magic key's glowing. The magic is working. Kipper sat up, rubbing his eyes. He looked at his toys. Come on, Kipper, said the toy cat. Hurry up, it's some magic adventure. Adventure. The toys ran into the little house. Hurry up, Kipper, shut Kipper's teddy. Be quick, or it will be too late. Kipper felt the magic. It put him inside the magic house. The magic spun Kipper and his toys around and around. Oh, help, shut Kipper. I'm feeling different. This magic is different. The magic took them to an airport. It was a very busy airport. The toy cat were excited. Perhaps we can catch an aeroplane, he said. Perhaps, he said, perhaps we can have an exciting adventure. There were birds everywhere. They're going to Switzerland. They're going to the Teddy Bear's picnic. Said Kipper's Teddy. They have a picnic every year. Perhaps we can go too, said the toy rabbit. Kipper was not sure. How can we? He asked. Of course we can go, said the Teddy. This is a magic adventure. Kipper and his friend, friends went on the aeroplane to Switzerland. They flew over lakes and mountains. What a beautiful place for a picnic, said Kipper. When the aeroplane landed, everyone got off. There were lots of beers. I've never seen so many bears, said Kipper. They were all over from the world. It is going to be a big picnic, said Kipper. There was a bus at the airport. It's going to the teddy bear's picnic, said the toy cat. Come on. If we run, we can catch it. Kipper like Sweetland. It is beautiful here, said Kipper. It was fun on top of the bus. The birds waved at everyone and everyone waved back. At last, the bus was arrived at the teddy bear's picnic. Everyone got off. I've never seen so many bears, said Kipper. We must stay together or we'll get lost. Kipper and his friends found a good place to sit. Sunny, everyone shout and clap. A famous bear came onto the stage. He waved at the crowd. Welcome to the teddy bear's picnic, the famous bear said. I know him, said Kipper excitedly. He's a very famous bear. I've read all his books. A other famous bear came onto the stage. He began, he began to tell jokes and say funny songs. Everyone laughed and clapped. I know that famous bear too, said Kipper. I've seen him on television. 
A famous pop group came onto the stage. They played music and a beer had their beers had their picnic. What a wonderful picnic, said Kipper. Everyone liked it. Kipper had an autofill dog. He won some of the famous beer to sign their names. I can show them to be friendship, said Kipper. They will know all the they will, then they will know about my magic adventures. Adventure. They went to find a famous bear, but there was trouble. Look, some bad bears are pushing the famous bear into a car. Those bad bears are kidnapper said the toy rabbit. We must do something. The car drove away quickly. The toy cat saw a van. Come on, he shouts. Get in. We can follow the kidnappers in this van. Toy cat drove the van as fast as he could. The car went faster. It drove up a mountain road. Faster, faster, showed the toy rabbit. Don't lose them, showed the teddy. The car drove through some big gates and stopped in, in, in front of a house. The bad bears pushed the that the famous bear inside. This will look dangerous, said Kipper, but we must save them. I have a plan. Kipper and the toy cat ran to the house. Kipper rang a bell. Some bad bears opened the door. Free honey, shut Kipper. Free honey for every bear. The, the bad bears were greedy. greedy. They want to eat the honey. They did not see Kipper's teddy and tore rabbits. The teddy went to the car and took the keys. And took out the keys. Then the tore rabbit went to the back of the house and looked through a window. He saw the famous bear. One of the famous bear saw him and shouted. Help us! Some bad bears have tied us up. The tour rabbit went inside the house and untied the famous bears. Then they all climbed out of the window. Come on, said the teddy. Be quiet and follow me. The famous bear creeped into the honey van. The bad bears did not see them. They were too busy eating the honey. Kipper poured some honey onto the ground. One of the bad bears looked at and saw the famous bear in the honey van. They are in the honey van, he shouted. Run after it. The toy, the toy cat, drew the hunt, drove the honey van as fast as he could. <laughs> the bad bears tried to run after the van, but they could not move because of the honey. Hooray! Shouted Kipper. <laughs> The famous bear was very happy. They found Kipper and his friends. You were very clever, said the famous bear. Now we can go back to the teddy bear's picnic. The magic key began to glow. It was time for Kipper's adventure to end. I must tell the friendship about my magic adventure, said Kipper. The next day, Kipper told Biff and Chip about 
his magic adventure. The magic key glow out last night, said Kipper. I had a magic adventure. We don't believe you, said Biff. It was just a dream, said Chip. The end.